Mr. Speaker, I would like to draw the House's attention um, to Standing Order 193, which is the privilege that is afforded uh, members of the opposition in particular uh, to give questions to ministers. At the last sitting of the House, uh, June 27, uh, 2024, two, June 28th, my apologies, uh, the opposition parliamentary caucus wrote to the Honorable Speaker to draw her attention to the fact that the notice that was given uh, is not consistent with the established protocol under her tenure, which was five days, five clear business days notice before any house sitting. Now, why is this important, Mr. Speaker? This is important because if the members of the opposition are not given the five clear business days notice of a house sitting, that immediately strips us of our privilege to raise questions to ministers. Because in order for a member of the opposition to present a question to a minister, they have to be allowed five notice days, clear business days notice to the honorable ministers. Now in this honorable house, the ministers are afforded statements by ministers where they get to report to the Honorable House and the citizens of this great nation what it is that they are doing in their respective ministries. We, as opposition members, travel all over this country. I, as the leader of the opposition, represent all 31 constituencies, and I traverse the nation, and I get many questions that the citizens have of the honorable government, the honorable ministers. And Mr. Speaker, rather than come into this house and cast aspersions or impute improper motives, rather than go on the media and cast aspersions and say anything defamatory about my colleagues, since the beginning of this term of parliament, myself and others have been using Standing Order 19.3 to present questions to the Honorable Ministers.